Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, and we're here for another episode of Age of Wonders Planet Falls. We carry on with Ronald McDarkside's Crusade, or well, rather, Epic Defense at the moment. Um, I want to get into the comments from Dory L and Rohit S to start this episode off. Some feedback to clarify some of the confusion I had in the last episode. So I was talking about I was pretty sure there was some sort of op or something I could do uh, to trigger a war between Purple and Green, who are currently in a friendly relationship. They're not integrated. I am integrated with Green. But Purple and Green are both currently friendly. Green is currently enemies with Claudius Proton, which is causing a lot of problems. So... This is kind of coming to a head here, I see. There is a lot of growth closing in, and a lot of purple closing in, and Claudius here at the same time. And I'm a little torn as to what to do on this episode. Um, well, actually, maybe not torn. I know what I'm going to do. I, um, I got into looking at my ops, because the op that uh, is in question is this one down here at the bottom, Trigger War with Faction. Costs 80 influence points, which I do have, and 16... Uh, operation points so unfortunately I cannot cast that on this turn it would have to wait until the next turn which I'm worried might be too late but it's probably a good time for me to at least start priming that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and hopefully Claudius just doesn't get wiped like right now but I'm gonna start priming that I can always cancel that if I need to I think um, yeah I could yeah maybe I can't uh, maybe I can't cancel that. Anyway, um, while I was in here looking around... Oh, wait, yeah, there it is. Cancel button right there. It's highlighting it. While I was in here looking around, I also noticed... Um, so, infiltrate... No, actually, that wasn't what made me notice this. It was... Deep infiltration. I have this right here. So, infiltrating a player will give all units 20% damage bonus against their units. This is something, a doctrine, I activated a long time ago and then kind of forgot about... But if you look at, if I go to Infiltrate Operations Center and launch, you can actually see that I only have this with one person, and it's somebody who I'm not currently actively fighting. So getting this up and running should be probably a higher priority, especially, I think, considering all the fighting I'm doing against Red. This would be really useful to have. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do this now before I forget. It was successful. Operation was not detected by the target. So now all my units are going to do 20% bonus damage to Red's units, which is really incredible. Um, I'm going to try to take advantage of that here in a second. But before I get carried away, let's talk about a couple other things. For one thing, um, I do keep making a mistake. I keep calling indentured initiates. That's uh, these guys that I'm talking about here. They are definitely indentured. They're not initiates. I'm getting Age of Wonders ter 3 terminology mixed up with Planet Fall. No, those are not elf wizards. Those are, in fact, guys with electrical guns, which actually is still electrical damage either way. But, um, yeah, getting my terminology screwed up, so I hope I didn't confuse anybody too much with that. From Sarah Feingold, units can still move while catatonic, which is actually something I would not have thought, but she is right... And there's so many effects in this game, I'm still trying to learn and memorize what they all do. But Catatonic simply prevents the unit from using abilities. It does not prevent them from moving around, which I just sort of assumed that it would based on the name. But that's not what it does, so uh, that's why I was a little confused in the last episode why some units that were Catatonic were still moving. Um, also from Sarah... Um, some of the units can hit, or no, some units can hit air with melee, including the Herald of Oblivion and the Assembly Constrictor. So a good way to look at this um, that she pointed out was, uh, let me let me find an example. In fact, Ronald would be a perfect example. Let's look at Ronald for a second. So if you highlight Ronald's melee attack, you can see there at the bottom of that list of the tooltip, it says only affects ground targets. But if I close that and then go over here, to the units that just fought in the last episode, this Herald of Oblivion, Ethereal Claws does not say it can only affect ground targets. So that is the, the factor you want to look for. It's not like arbitrary or based on the unit's height or its floating status or whatever. It's just simply on some unit's attacks and not on others, and the game will tell you if you actually look at it, which I think is really cool that there are some units that can hit a... a or air units with melee attacks, some non-flying units that can do it. You just have to pay attention to the tooltip. Um, so great point there. I, I never noticed that before. And then uh, finally from Sarah, the newly evolved hunter in Red's land may have enough movement to trigger another battle. 
Especially since I was successful getting that infiltrate operations center off, I uh, am totally in agreement with this. Um, I am going to probably, uh, actually there's something I need to check. Okay, ignore that uh, little window sound effect. I wanted to make sure I was actually recording. Um, I've, I've done that before a couple times and it's not fun to redo a whole episode. I think I've only done it once actually, but and it was in Age of Wonders 3, but it was a massive pain to fix. Um, so over here in, um, in this city where I've been fighting Red primarily with these armies here, Sarah correctly pointed out that because this guy evolved, he gets all his movement back and could be useful in triggering a battle. It also occurred to me that I have a spaceship that could do the same thing. Uh, what I'm going to do is move these guys, everybody except the spaceship, uh, focusing primarily on the slower units here, to that tile. And what I can do is then move these guys here. Then I can take this transcendent and move him into this army to sort of buff that army up a little bit. Then I can take the spaceship, which has enough movement, down there. I can also move this stack here. And then I can take any of these units that have enough movement, which is going to include, I think, these two. And they'll have enough movement to get back. So I can get up to nine units in on this battle against five enemy units, which should be perfectly fine. And then I can easily use the hunter to launch this battle, which is very low risk. We'll try an auto combat. I, I got a feeling we're going to have to manual this one, but we'll just see what happens. Uh, no, I got away with that. So good call on that, sir. I appreciate that. And I'm betting that extra 20% damage bonus helped out quite a bit there. Um, and then I can move this guy back with them. And actually, this guy's going to have to go with them. And I'm going to put the uh, Mirage for now in this stack up here. And that way, that army's gone, so it can't gang up on me with other units. And these guys can go back to doing what they do best, which seems to be sitting on defense in enemy territory as of late. Access to, uh, access to Operation Loss, Elysium Camp Followers. I think that was, um, if I remember correctly, uh, cast on, well, I think it was on Solnitol. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on Solnitol, and that's the one they disjuncted. I think the one that was up here is still active, Elysium Camp. No, that's Bread and Circuses. Um, am I not looking at the right place? Torment Chambers. Reinforced by Suffering. Launched by Ronald McDarkside. I may, I may be getting Elysium Camp followers confused with something else. Let me take a moment to look that up, because I thought that's what gave me that Tormentor thing. It's a passive ability, unit ability. No, it's an operation. Oh, all non-mindless units gain... Okay. That's a doctrine. Why did a doctrine get deactivated? I lost access to it, it said. I didn't think... I didn't think you could lose access to a doctrine. I'm a little confused, so again, help me with my confusion, everybody. But yeah, that is right here. Oh, it originates from a strategic look. Okay, never mind. I know what's going on. Elysium Camp Followers are something I was getting out of this Armageddon Casino and Dance Hall. I lost access to it when I lost that dance hall. Now that I have it back, I could technically get that back up and running, um, but it's going to take... I'm already uh, currently in the process of priming uh, the trigger war with factions, so I, I can't really do that right now. But maybe I can queue that. Uh, that only takes... It doesn't take that many points to activate, so I can actually get both of them on the next turn. So we'll close that and uh, have those both finish on the next turn. Um, Sarah, one thing Sarah did point out is that this does count from uh, water sector buffs, uh, which is part of the reason why I'm not going to actually be able to make a third water sector in Yasafel whenever I do expand to be able to get the, probably the Rhea coastline there. I will not be able to build a third water sector in this city because, well, it actually says one of two built-in colony. 
Oh, that's because I haven't built one. But yes, one of two building colonies, so it's counting this as a water sector. And if I build one here, then I can't build another water sector anywhere else. So I'm going to... Um, actually, in this turn for this particular city, I think I'm going to... Eh, we'll just we'll start working on that. I, may, but I mean, I may as well get it. Especially since I'm working on a hydro battery, too. Okay, uh, these guys here are kind of in a difficult spot. I don't know what to do with them because we've got all these armies here. They can't actually reach the land there yet, but these guys are already close enough to that teleport. I think, I think I'm going to have to wait and see where these guys end up going, whether they try to make landfall down here or whether they try to come up here. I probably also should leave the armies that I have in this area anyway, just because there's more stuff coming across the water. So I think these guys are going to have to stay where they're at regardless. That being said, I do want to kind of get them grouped up with the uh, other units here. So I think I'm going to back them off for a little bit. Um, oh, I thought that was an item box. All right, good. I'm going to back them off over here to kind of group those units together so they're not split up so much. Uh, this guy, I guess, is good to stay where he's at. Still got that, excuse me, purple navy sailing around. I just need to keep an eye on it, but otherwise I don't think there's much else that I got to do. I'm going to probably leave these units sitting here, but I want at least one of those stacks to be on check-in status every turn. That way I can... So the camera will pop down here and I can see if there's anything I need to be worried about. Um, Doomsday Victory coming in six turns, so we're getting very close. Uh, can probably... Your army is... Uh... Oh, it's just a lot of notifications about sectors that I've been fighting over. Um, I think I'm going to actually just skip past most of that stuff at this point in the game. All right, I'm going to leave these tanks here because there should always be an army in this area, no matter what. Um, having these all in orbital defense sectors is nice because that means any army from near any orbital defense sector is only one turn away, but I still feel a little better having these guys around. Uh, there's still no sign of any white units crossing, although I did see some movement up in this area, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Ronald's army, I think, probably, um, I think I'm going to put them here. Or maybe, like, here for now. Those guys don't have any flying units, so they're not going to be particularly mobile with whatever they decide to do. I imagine they might just go after the water sectors that I've got out there, which is going to be annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, I can deal with that. I just don't want them taking stuff on the land right now. And Tenzin is going to have to stay here because those bees are closing in quickly on that city there. Oh, cool. Free Cosmite, which I have a tremendous amount of now at this point. Energy sectors upgrade. I don't think that's something I need for this city. I think in this one I'm going to probably just start generating energy. Wait a second. Megalux Cityscape. Oh, that's this down here. Oh, actually, that does need upgrades. Okay. I think it was the orbital reinforcement platform and the military assembly line. The other two were more strategic operations and economic, but I want the military-related ones. I think the orbital re re reinforcement platform was one I like to get first, and then the military assembly line. Yeah, that, that would be good to work on. This is kind of an important um, point there, so I think reinforcing that would be good. Alright, um, caught this city, and going to... I'll go ahead and just do a central bio farm, help it grow faster. It can also go ahead and annex this, which has something in it I probably need to get rid of. Is there anybody that can... You know what, I'll send one of those scouts down there to start cleaning that up. Uh, yeah, I got money for this. And then you can go ahead and pick that up. Sure, it'll be 
cleaned up soon. Then I can end my turn. I don't think I'm going to take too much more time with this one. I pretty much know where everybody's at and what they need to do. Oh, there, there's one thing I do want to check. I wanted to check out where my units are at. I think I was able to get... Yeah, right. Okay, so the, those guys are all the mountains. The ones going after yellow. Because I think on the next turn, I might be able to kill yellow. Um, I think... Is she actually in the void right now? Uh, which one was yellow, even? I say in the void. That's not really what... Lore-wise, that's not correct. I think she's back, though. She, and she may... She may have run away. It's kind of hard to tell. I didn't, I should have counted out the number of turns, had like an ongoing counter for that, but I didn't, I didn't think to do that. Regardless, if she's not in the capital, she should be pretty close to it. I would guess in some of those armies out there that I'm picking up on sensors. All right, back to purple. We'll get an eye on where those boats are moving as well as any other units. In the area, it looks like she is forming up another army. Um, or perhaps that was the army. I think she just actually kind of kicked Claudius's butt a little bit. But now they're falling back. I don't understand the war between purple and blue, honestly. Purple should have won that a long time ago, especially with the growth being hostile to blue. They're just freaking everywhere. But maybe, maybe I can turn that around. Although, the fact that they're already in Blue's territory is still a problem, but maybe they'll at least kill any, help kill any purple units that go that way. Uh, okay, so... Where is this at? Oh! Oh crap, I should have probably seen that coming. They're starting to pick on... I'm gonna have to manual this. They're starting to pick on, I think this is, um... The Kirko City. This is a water sector in that Kirko city I got with the Autonom dwelling attached to it. All right, well, this is another one of those battles where you just focus on killing specific units and hope for the best. So, I don't think I've ever used these deep ones before. Call of the Deep. Images of drowning and the feeling of suffocation which ripple through the target's mind. Okay can apply catatonic. That's good to know. Uh, maybe it will work on the bugs. I hope so. I don't know if that's a melee or ranged, but honestly, the best I can do here, I think. Oh wait, we got swarm shield. I gotta remember, I am Kirko, so let's uh, bundle everybody up. Although the guys with the rockets are gonna maybe be a problem in that regard, but I think I'd, I'll opt for swarm shield in any way. Oh, the anti-aircraft stuff's coming into effect. Right, that's good. Maybe I can uh, kind of harass them with some uh, area effect stuff. Staggering the bees would actually be pretty nice. Between that and the anti-aircraft, I may be able to actually take out a handful of these things. I'm going to back off a little bit and probably spread out. I don't... Because those things can stagger, and I, d I think a lot of these units don't have stagger resistance. I don't really want to deal with that. So, unlike the Kirko would normally want to do, I will be spreading out a bit. It doesn't really matter where that one's at because it's flying, so I'll swarm shield with the unit up front. Right. Yes, use your rocket. I think it's the ships I want to take out more than anything. Drop pods are just falling in the water. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Um, let's see what we can do here. 
as that a that is a range attack and actually that will do a pretty good amount of damage so what I think I'm gonna do is try to take out actually both of these things if I can this from here oh wait you're not the same kind of unit crap you are though all right I think I can Hit the one in the back, no, but I can definitely kill that bee. Let's try to get this guy. Okay, those grazes didn't really help very much. Let's see, got crushed target with powerful fangs. That's probably a melee, only affects ground targets. And only affects ground targets. So toxic spit, a single action, is the only thing this thing's got. Which probably isn't really that helpful. It's actually not even enough to kill that ship. Maybe in conjunction with this other one, though, if I can get him close enough. I might just sacrifice these two units to just go get two shots off and kill this thing now. As long as it's not taking any damage over time right now, which it's not. That being said, why don't I just arc discharge that one out of the sky? Because it's going to affect other ships too. I wish I could like somehow pick which ones it would hit. But this is the best I can do. Enemy destroyed. I want to get him, but I don't think I can. He's got a pretty decent chance to hit... to hit that guy. It's not great, but it's... with between that and this one, I think it's more or less a guaranteed kill. Let's see how much damage I do with this guy. Okay, that's a critical hit. That will be more than enough. So why don't we just focus on Enemy killing kill. units, any that we can, and then I will... I get catatonic, echo of the deep, one turn now. I would love to make something catatonic, but odds of it working on those spaceships aren't great. Maybe the uh, bird, which is closing in on me pretty fast. Nice. Okay. Yes, that's right. Run away, coward. Okay, cool. Nobody died, and I've got... I might just keep using this arc discharge, because it staggers the bees, and it hurts the ships because of their arc weakness, and it's AoE. I like that. Which ship do I want to go after next? I honestly think I can... We'll do that one. Stagger a couple more bees, and then I think these guys, with their spit, between them and this, they should be able to get that, no problem. Uh, this one is... Oh crap, he's blinded for some reason. Thing. Wait, no he's not. These had really good at chances of hitting earlier. Why is it so bad here? He's used afterburners, I guess? Yeah, afterburners. Might actually try to get more bees then and leave the ships. Uh, leave the ships alone for the moment. Because these things will wreck the bees. What tier is this? It's a very good unit. That is, those are tier 3s. I didn't realize that. I thought they were tier 2s. Shows you how much I play the Kirko. Not often enough, apparently. Ooh, that critical hit was nice. Another one would be beautiful. Actually, just a full damage. There we go. That was a good crit. That leaves other units open to do other things. Now, which one of these guys, does he, did he get staggered? The one in the middle did not get staggered, but the one in the middle is also a worker bee, 
I think I'd rather kill the soldier bee anyway. We'll use that in conjunction with the ship, I think. Enemy down. Beginning to think I could I could win this. Clearly, I don't have no faith in enough pa in enough faith in the poor Kirko. Serves them right. All right. Hey, you better use your ops. It's lost. Ouch! That that hurt. More anti-aircraft. All right. Uh, I could maybe primal override a B. That might be fun. Enemy subverted. Okay. It had mods. I'll take them. That might distract them enough. I should be able to finish them all off now. Is that enough to kill? No, it is not. I will let. Yeah, we'll just kill the bee since I know I can kill the bee. Enemy killed. Whoops, I missed somebody who's still got actions. The bee, I guess. Unit has four. Unit down. Okay, making a push. All right. Well, now it's just my aircraft and my B versus their aircraft and their B. I think I've got this, though. Another uh, arc discharge should do it. Enemy annihilated. Okay. Nice job, guys. The syndicate rules supreme. Don't even have to worry about that army. And use a fairly small number of small amount of energy on those arc discharges. They're cheap and they're very effective. Okay, he wanted to come get that sector back, which is fine. Now it looks like he's wandering off on vacation somewhere. I will probably just go take it right back and then sit on it. He's still got a bunch of stuff up there too. I'll look at this, it looks to me like a, a Pokeball. <laughs> I had forgot that was the Autonom symbol. I thought I was being notified about a Pokemon event. Alright, now I think it's just the independent factions, which actually makes me want to take a look at what the growth is doing over here. Ah, dang, they're moving the wrong direction. I mean, they're actually moving exactly where they should be. Oh, it looks like Claudius pulled his army back. Which was definitely wise in the situation he was in. Because holy crap, that's a lot of growth. War has broken out with the Autonoms. They have many enemies on this planet. It would reward us for their annihilation. Okay. We got a reward for killing Autonoms. Alright. I think I can... Doctrine and act. Okay, I got Elysium camp followers back up. Operations also, operations are ready. ready. I think I'm going to. Or wait, was there? Yeah, there was the one that I was going to do trigger war with faction. Can I launch that? Can I target Nicole with that? Odds are not good. Maybe I need to try to infiltrate her first. Let me try to infiltrate Operation Center. Get that primed again. Probably want that anyway. Let's see if I can get that to work. Got it. Okay, that should make the follow up a little easier. Triggering war with the faction. Marginally. 
Ah. Alright, well, I wasn't able to trigger war with faction, but I think I'm gonna continue to try to do that. I've still got enough. Yeah, I've still got enough to do that again, so I'm gonna start priming that again. While I have her infiltrated, it is the time to do it, and all I need to do is get it triggered, then I think... I, I, I think it, they'll just be stuck dealing with it. I'm really trying to help out Blue here, but... It's just not working. Claudius declared war on... Why are you declare? Why are you picking more fights? I guess because she's at war with me. Maybe he's trying to be helpful. Oh, I thought he was already at war with Nicole. Said he declared war on Nicole. Well, I'm five turns away from Doomsday. There's all sorts of notifications. I'm just going to click through these, I think, because it's getting a bit... Uh, a lot to manage for this phase of the game. Um, I think that really anywhere I can get an orbital relay station is probably good right now. I mean, I guess there is one right there, though. Yeah, I'll just turn that into an energy sector. That's fine. I don't think anybody's going to be attacking that specific point. So, that's okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, and I got, uh, got, a, got a freebie. Cool. I guess you can hang out in, uh, you know what, I would actually like you to hang out probably in the city center just in case something manages to sneak up on it. It looks like these guys are converging on this peninsula, so I probably need to shift focus to guarding that. On that note, I guess the bee can go down here for now. Guard that with Tenzin, and then uh, maybe on the next turn it can fly across the water. Actually, it could fly across the water now. So it looks like that area is about to get hit pretty hard. It could reach that milestone recharge station on the next turn if it needs to. Um, in the meantime, I, I feel okay about these armies here. There's some good units there. Plus the fact that I have defenders, militia defenders. Um, can they reach that city on this turn if they all went after it? No, they can't. So for now, I'm going to move these guys here them there so there's something in there to defend and then I may try to get another army over there through one of the portals the reinforcement platforms purple looks like they're gonna try something over here so I don't really want to take units away from that area I feel like maybe taking them away from this area would be okay uh, just some kind of extra crappy units that I don't really need for anything else um, but yeah, there's really nothing threatening these guys down here. So I'm going to take some of the best units in this group, which is probably the Wraith tank. Um, I want to add... Oh, that's that self-sustaining army that I created. I still think I'm going to change that up a little bit, though, because I want that growth healing unit in there. So I'm going to add, take these guys. Or, well, at least the Malictor. I think I'll do something like this. I'll take them, but then I'll add the plant. And then the rest of these guys can stay here. Which should be enough to defend against any small incursions. And then they can go here, and they'll be able to help stabilize that area if Red just throws everything at it. All right, these guys actually didn't get attacked for once. First time in a while that's happened. I'm tempted to run down there and just take a clear of that, but I think uh, given the circumstances, I'm, the fact that I'm in the middle of any enemy territory, I probably won't. Um, I'm, what I think I'm gonna do here is uh, move, probably, well, I don't know. Cause they came and hit this and then they backed off. Now, I know they've got other units over here, but what I'm thinking is, you know what, this is just a sector, whereas this is actually a city. So I think my move's gonna be to come back up here and just hold this spot and then see if they converge on me again. 
which I probably am going to need to attack again. I'm sure they'll have... Nope. Didn't actually even need to fight over it. I would rather just leave them here as a thorn in his side rather than doing anything risky with them. Really, all they need to do is buy time for now. So I'll leave them in this spot, and then if Red wants to come gang up on him again, he's welcome to try. Colony awaits its fate. Uh, just absorb it, I guess. All right, here we are back to yellow, and I'm really interested to see if I can find their leader and finish this off here. Um, got that group, and... Now, she's got the bonus to flying units, so I do want to get these guys out of her army soon. So what I'm going to do is move... Oops. I'm going to move them here. That's sort of the main attack force. And add the sirens back in. And keep the hunter. We'll move them like this. Move these guys here. Now, regardless of what happens this turn, I'm taking that city. Um, would be nice if I could get a little extra off the top, but... I don't see their leader, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to check diplomacy again. Because I'm pretty sure this was her. She is not currently recuperating. That's a shame. I don't know where she went. Wasn't quite quick enough. But maybe when I take this city, I'll be able to spot her. That actually could be her over there. There's there's a hero stack there. In fact, the yellow bars may indicate that that is her. So that could be what I'm looking for. All right, let's move in on this. It's a very low risk battle. We'll try auto, but I got a feeling somebody's going to be dumb. Seems to like to do that with the faster sci-fish units, but fortunately they were not. I'll take that. Save us all some time. Um, and that is a lot of crap. But it's a lot of crap that I think I can kill. Man, that's a lot, considering all the yellow stuff I just wiped out a couple episodes ago. I think I'm gonna need uh, the... Oh, I might need to cancel priming this operation because I think I'm going to need the supply drop. It says some operation points will be lost, but I wish it would tell me exactly how many would be lost because I kind of want that supply drop. Maybe I won't do that. <laughs> I guess they're not too terribly damaged. It's, I could probably work with it. So I'm thinking it's probably better to attack them than to sit and wait for them to attack me, just because if I do that, they could surround me. So I think that's what I'm gonna opt for here. We're just gonna have to, this says a low risk battle. Um, just out of curiosity, I'll auto, but I'm pretty darn sure I'm going to have to do this one manual. Yeah, that's about what I thought. All right, we'll have to retry this one and actually handle this one ourselves. Um, because these guys are a little too beat up and they probably are just charging in like idiots. So, in fact, they're charging this group. Maybe not like idiots, but more just like jerks. When in reality... These are the ones I want you fighting. Okay, so basically, run away. Run away, and uh, do I need to worry about them staying on defense? Probably not yet, so I'm just going to say run away as fast as you can. Just make sure you're facing the right direction. Gosh, those spawn are so fast. All right. Yeah, willing to bet the computer wasn't smart enough to do that. 
when it was managing this for me. Uh, the Medusa can't quite get close enough to heal anybody with a uh, nurturing bond, unfortunately. I may... I think I want to get the Hunter with that, because he could be useful getting in the face of those ships. I impregnate, or, um, not impregnate, but... Is there anybody in range for me to captivate? Got him. Or entice. Got one. Alright, let's sort of form a line here with the mainline fighters. I'm gonna move him, or the Medusa, a little bit more this way. So she's in a position to fight or heal on the next turn as needed. And that looks pretty good to me. Alright, they're shifting their focus to that group on the top, which is good. That's what I want, I suppose. Now, the last time I was fighting a lot of these guys was Ready. over the water, so it's not going to be quite that simple. Alright, can you impregnate from adjacent to him? I think you can. Alright, have fun with that. Uh, now I kind of want the Medusa to heal that guy. He's a bit more on the front line here. Uh, can I... Well, these guys have incredible reach. I think I'm gonna just try to take out the ship. Before it has a chance to missile launch something. of sight there, but I can phase and leave one action. Might be worth it on these guys if I can stagger them. They are currently being upgraded. Any of them stagger resistant? No. Nope. I mean, this guy probably is. He's immune. But I could stagger those two. would like to find the right kind of, well, cover actually doesn't really apply here, but I'm going to actually just do a normal move with her for now, and just launch this right there. Get the stagger, set him on fire even, that's nice. I am going to still nurturing bond this guy, I think. I am going to also move my Medusa a bit closer to the battle. And this one, maybe I'll just use as like a diversion or a distraction. Um, like send him kind of back, but maybe the ship will go after him. Leave him on defense. And this one I may be able to use just to fascinate something. So I think going behind cover over here, he's still got most of his health, so he should be okay. Uh, as for you guys, I just, just stay in the back. And preferably you two hide behind the Medusa. Okay. Uh, that looks okay to me. Do I want to use a tactical op here? I kind of do. I have so many that I can use every turn. 
I, I, I want to use it, I just don't know that I really need to use it. But I really want to drop a Valkyrie drop pod right there. I just think that sounds like a tremendous amount of fun. I don't think I'm really fighting much else on this turn, so I may as well. Let's just do it. Hello. Now they're completely out of movement. Okay. Ops too, all right. You know, I'm okay with putting that Valkyrie there now because they're really, they got oh, several more ships over here that are causing trouble. Unit down. I might actually even drop another one. Does that unit have stagger resist? Nope. No, wait, he is resistant. Okay. But I think the Valkyries have one that's a massive impact. Can't remember if it's the drop or the, uh, the grenade that they throw. But one of them is very good. He should still be panicked. Yeah, he's panicked. I would be too if I had an alien growing inside of me, to be fair, I suppose. I want to activate Wraith Drive or just shoot the dang thing? I think I'm going to opt for shoot the dang thing. I think that was a good choice. What can you hit from there? How about that guy? Good riddance. Okay, and then you, I think, can entice him. Meanwhile, the Valkyrie can drop in here. I am going to drop another one. All right. And you need to... Oh, crap, you might die. Um, kind of needs to get out of there. Uh, crit would be absolutely lovely. Yeah, that scythe, that spawn might be in trouble. Especially if they just ram him. I need to make one of them catatonic. Can you... He's got a 16% chance on that guy. 16, 21 on him. Oh man, I think I maybe should have saved. I could take out two of these ships, even though the third one could still probably finish him off. I think that I think that spawn is dead. I didn't see those ships back there. All right, well I'm gonna get a couple more Chrysalis anyway, so if they can tag along and get XP like they have been, I'm going to try. Oh, hey, Catatonic actually worked on him. Not on him. All right. Hunter, go forth. Maybe you can be a distraction. Yeah, I don't want to lose the Hunters. And I don't want to lose any more spawn. You guys can stay in the back. Probably just going to have to accept it. Unless they're really dumb enough to do something else. They apparently are. Okay, throwing that hunter at them did the trick. They just ignored the spawn. Unit destroyed. And that guy ran away. Enemy subverted. For no particular reason. Okay, I got my Psyfish back there. They killed my other Valkyrie, mm -hmm. but that doesn't really matter at this point. Enemy annihilated. 
That was fun. That one's panicked, so he's just running away. Uh, these guys are never quite close enough. Oh, I forget they've got Captivating Bond. Which can be used at a, at a decent range. Alright, well I need to get rid of these two ships. Yeah, I was hoping I could get lucky. Get a easy hit off on him. You know what? You can participate now. All you need to do... There you go. Wow, that was actually a full hit. Well done. In fact, you can participate as well. Oh wait, I don't want to kill him. He's gonna be... He's gonna become my soldier here soon. Okay, you need to get the heck out of here. So, maybe if I crit. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just do it so and finish him off. Right. You need to impregnate that one. Enemy eliminated. And you can... Can you fascinate that one? Oh, you can fascinate him. Alright, do that. Move here. And then do that. I'll just leave them on defense. And not sure really what that ship is doing, but whatever. We'll just let him be on his way. Who still needs... who can still act? Vanguard Valkyrie is dead. I'm not going to use any operations on this turn. Any units that can still act will... you know what, that's fine. I'm pretty sure I got everybody. Wow, nice job. He rocked wide up to a giant tank and swung at it. With a spear and you missed. Okay, now my hero probably needs to kind of back off a little bit. That's, that's a bit much out there for one unit. Um, you, I want to go in for the kill on that guy. You could use Mantra of Life to get back some health, which would be really nice. for a better shot. No. You know what? We'll just let him get some hits in there. Annihilated. Medusa can heal somebody else, which is probably what I should use it for. Uh, maybe the one guy back here that got really beat up. He's got the parasite in him, I think. Yep. Alright. Hero needs a little bit of support getting out of there. Enemy annihilated. Enemy eliminated. Never mind, the hero's gonna be just fine. I'm gonna Psytech blast this guy. Enemy killed. Get a little health out of it. You defend there, and I think I just told you, oh, that's the Chrysalis. Okay, that might have been the unit that had moves that I wasn't using, or that I didn't use at the end of the last turn. You know what? Go here. You can help the uh, hunter guy kill that. The rest of you, defend. Yeah, we leave him alone. He's the one with the Parasite. I think that's everybody. Okay. Enemy subverted. 
Okay, got another chrysalis I'm adding to my collection here. Uh, these guys are about to actually get eaten. Enemy annihilated. Nice. some healing for him. Got healing going on over here. Trying to heal everybody to whatever extent that I can, including the hero, because... Uh, they could still hit me with a lot of stuff in retaliation, so I'm going to micro this a little bit and kind of back everybody up. As long as she's using some ability, she'll heal some. So I'd like to get the hero back up to full health. And I guess not everybody needs to be full health, but I want to try to get a decent number of people there. So I'll move the, uh, the sirens are all doing pretty good, so I'll kind of move them into a line. And then whenever that thing gets too close, I'll just take it out. But I want to give a little more time for my units to heal. You missed. How much longer before nurturing bond? Can't use ability for one more turn. Uh, why don't you... Just shoot a missile over here. Uh, I can't do that. I have to actually target something with it. All right, blow up that bush. You gain 10 health for blowing up a bush. All right, we'll uh, give it another turn. Unit under enemy control. That is definitely not okay. Override demon, okay. Um, Time for you to die, I'm afraid. <laughs> Odds of hitting it aren't great. Let's... Can I, I can't fascinate that thing. Can't, oh, I actually can. It's captivated. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you to let that go. The Syndicate rules supreme. Nobody takes over my hero's tank and gets away with it. All right, I got enough healing out of that that I'll be, I should be okay for the follow-up battle. And I should be able to see, there she is, running away like a little coward. Come back and get your capital. I hope she does. For now, I pretty much have to sit on it because these guys are, by and large, out of movement. So... Yep, come on back, everybody. We'll stay right here. In that triangle formation with the city. And, uh, should be in pretty good shape. Colony awaits his fate. I'm just gonna be absorbing everything. That's fine. Just to give them somewhere else to fight at, other than in my territory. Because really, the only thing they should be concerned about is this stuff. But I decided to play, you know, they say the best offenses are good deep, or best defense is good offense. I don't know. Whatever that phrase is. If I'm attacking them out here, then they're not attacking me over here. And that's the whole idea. So, I do want to take another look at Red. Okay, so he's got awful lot of robots bearing down on this spot, but I do have that back up there, plus a couple other pretty good armies. Might want to swap the Melictor with a different group. Maybe I want to actually, yeah, I, I actually do want to do that. Um, or, no, better idea. Let's put the Melictors in the same group. Get the runner out of that group. Yeah, you don't need to be here. Um, you should be here because you'll power up the Melictors. And I don't remember if she's got any specific bonuses. Does she have like infantry commander or something? She doesn't have infantry commander, which actually surprises me. Or at least it doesn't act like she's got it. I would have thought that would have been one of the first things I would have gotten on her. Okay, well that's fine. She doesn't need to be with them, I guess. I'll leave them in their group like that. 
put him with them. That way these guys are both getting damage bonuses from both indentured, which is a little bit more efficient. Okay, I think I think this is about where I need to wrap this one up. I think we're in a, a good stopping spot here. We've got yellow kind of on the run. We've got red just scattered stuff everywhere fighting to just try to get me out of his land. Red's trying Red is actually trying to be aggressive and defensive at the same time, and he's got enough units to try to pull it off, but I think I'm wearing him down. Um, yellow is pretty much on the run at this point, I think. And then then there's that, which, you know, I just have to keep an eye on that because I may need to bring units back here to ward purple off again. I'm kind of hoping she'd be more distracted by, by blue, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's more or less the state of this horribly screwed up world that I've created. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me pan over here, see if anything jumps out to any of you guys. But aside from that, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the views, all the support. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters, including tier three supporters, Blitz, Braden, Jimbro, Tarsac, and Tibby and Army. Thanks so much, everybody.